Hello everyone, in today's video I will cover the Boeing 747 descent and approach following up the last tutorial where I discussed the climb and cruise phases. We are about 550 miles to destination and we have received some new weather infos. We got some approach changes since the surface wind has shifted as you can see here to 120 degrees at 5 knots we will be landing at the runway 08 left so i will fly canuck 5 arrival for the runway 08 left followed by the ils 08 left approach now i will put uh, this on my fmc i open my departure arrival page then from the approaches list i select ils 08 left then from the stars list i select canuck 5 zero eight left then execute i got the active confirmations for both the canuck 5 and ils 08 left now i'll step through the legs pages to check for discontinuity that sounds good now i will look at my star and approach and cross check uh, the waypoint constraints with my FMC and you can see here my standard arrival starts at booth using the legs page I will find the booth here it is we must fly uh, VTF at uh, or below flight level 210 my FMC shows flight level 210B altitude constraint at VTF checked Another restrictions at lane with maximum speed of 250 knots and we must fly lane between 14,000 and 10,000 feet. Here is lane with 250 knots speed, 14,000 B, 10,000 A constraints checked. Basra has a minimum of 10,000 feet constraint. Seabug has 8,000 feet minimum altitude constraint. Aplex has 5,000 feet minimum constraint. Finally, we must fly wind low at or above 3,000 feet with maximum speed of 210 knots. Now I will cross check this with my CDU legs pages. Moving to the next page to find these Y points. Here is Basra. 10,000 A or above, Seabug 8,000 A, Aplex 5,000 A, finally Vinlo 210 knots, 3,000 A. Checked. Moving now to the approach, this is the ILS runway 08 left for the CYVR Vancouver International. Localizer frequency is uh, 110 decimal 55. The final approach course is uh, 083 degrees. Moving to the profile section, I should be at 3000 feet at MCAM. Now I'll step to the next page and find uh, MCAM. Here it is 3000A checked. Now the next and the last legs page is about the missed approach. This should be cross-checked with the published missed approach on the approach chart, which is shown in this section. Now I select nav rad page to ensure my ILS frequency and final course are pre-selected as you can see here. We are about uh, 127 miles to top of descent as shown in my progress page. Continuing the descent and approach preparation, I got the destination altimeter 3020. I'm gonna pre-select this on my altimeter using the barrel knob on my FS panel. And you can see the readout just below STD or standard here. 3020 is set top of the sand is coming up as shown on my ND now I will set the approach reference for the landing
I confirm my ref data on my PFD checked for the auto brakes I'll be using rate 1 now we are about 29 miles to top of descent ATC has cleared me to descend to 10,000 feet I will set this on my MCP altitude window Ten thousand set. Following our position on the ND display, we can see we are about to intercept our top of descent point. As the aircraft enter a descent phase, a vertical deviation scale will show up here. Here we go. The auto throttle mode changes to idle. Now the aircraft will follow the descent flight path calculated by the FMC. I just reached the downwind for the runway 08 left. ATC has cleared me to descend to 3000. I will set this on my altitude window. Then I'll be using vertical speed mode for my descent. 800 will be the rate of descent. I just crossed the 10,000 feet. I'll turn my landing lights on. ATC has cleared me to start reducing my speed. First I check my speed. Up speed checked. Now I go for flaps 1. I set the flaps 1 speed. Speed checked. Flaps 5. I set the flaps 5 speed. Now I go for flaps 20, flaps 20 speed set, currently I'm in radar environment and the ATC cleared me to turn left heading 120. ATC cleared me to turn right heading 140. ATC has cleared me to fly ILS 08 left. Both the localizer and the glide slope indicators are alive. I select approach. Localizer and glide slope armed. Checked. Now I'm watching the localizer magenta diamond symbol. Now it's sliding toward the center and the localizer green on my FMA checked. Now I'm watching the glide slope magenta diamond symbol. Now as you can see it starts moving down to the center. Gear down. The glide slope symbol is about to center. I set full flaps. I set my approach speed. The wind is calm, so the speed will be VREF plus 5. 25. I arm the speed brakes. Now I can visually fly the approach. My missed approach altitude is set. 1000. I disconnect uh, the autopilot. Now I'm hand flying the aircraft.
I start now reducing the thrust slowly to idle. Thrust reverse available. And this completes this tutorial. In the next video, I'll discuss the after landing and securing the aircraft. See you there.